to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Right. Or we can continue with the music. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare, episode 11. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me as always, Mr. Chris Garcia. I'm over here this time. Way over there across Way the table. There. As you can see, we have some very special guests with us from the Combo Starters podcast. We have Brinson and Hola. Isaac. Hello. I'll take a number five combo. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out. All right, so they, they are here with us today. They are from, like I said, the Combo Starters podcast, and at the end, they can plug all their stuff if they would like to. Um, mm -hmm. So they're just going to be here to talk some stories with us. And Don't we're just... plugins. They're, they're all over the place. I apologize. Okay. All right. If we want So to. you guys are here. We'll talk more about your podcast at the end of the show. But yeah. right now it's our time. I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> but right now we're just going to jump into the stories. I'm enjoying the moment. Just, just jump in. We're going to jump right in. Yeah, we, got, cool we got a lot to get through today. Unlike the normal, a lot to get through. <laughs> We have a lot less more. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we want to talk about here, um, you guys ever have lung cancer? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally, every now and then it, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. Well, what was it last week? I thought it was lung cancer at least. Anyways, did it go away on its own? Maybe. Probably wasn't lung. No, cancer. no, no. That was your dog. That was your dog. That's so, right. Was lung cancer is apparently the leading cause of cancer death in the United States. So that's not good. It's a well, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, does yeah. it say the reasons why? Is it because of smoking or um, is it second hand? Nope. Those people. It's just because of lung cancer in general. Okay. So normally if you have cancer, you have to have like chemotherapy, which is radiation, which just kills the every cell. Yeah, I watch breaking. It kills back. everything. It doesn't just kill the cell the cancer, it kills everything. <laughs> so this immu immunotherapy company, um, which is Bristol Myers Squibb, they're in New Jersey has a drug called Optivo, which um, actually, it doesn't attack the cancer cells, it actually boosts your immune system to allow it to learn how to fight off the cancer cells. And back in December, it was approved for FDA trials. And um, earlier this week, the FDA has expanded the approved use of it um, for people who had chemotherapy and are not responding to it anymore, basically. Okay. Training everybody to be lazy. Um, so this is really good news for everyone who's had cancer, who had lung cancer specifically. I suspect. Um, because, like I said, you don't have to have the chemotherapy if you stop responding to the chemotherapy. This. So um, this is like a second step now for it, people. Yeah, it, it's really good because instead of having the, the the idea is instead of having to get the chemo at all, you'd better just take the drug that keeps your immune system going. There's some chemical thing that happens when you have cancer, and apparently your immune system just starts to shut down. And it doesn't try to fight off the cancer. So, would this mean that it's going to boost it to normal speeds? Um, the, the results said that people, on average, were living like three months longer than those who received a different drug. Okay. Um, and people continue to respond to it for up to six months, who had chemo and then were taking this. Um, I don't know all the medical terms because I'm not a doctor, but basically. Me neither. Um, I got a good idea of it. I did. You know what? You know what this one is? Bad, like I said. You know oh, what yeah. this is? Yeah. Google blah blah blah. Yeah. I don't. I don't okay, know. Perfect. I don't know what that is. It's a type of lung cancer. So it's only for a specific type of lung cancer that's called small cell lung cancer. But it's really good news because they're thinking that from here they'll be able to go forward and fight off more types of cancer using a similar method since it's basically just boosting your immune system instead of killing cells. Is now, is this something that could be, uh, do you think, for anything other than lung cancer, we can you know, use like, it for like working out or, or not for no, working like, out? Like <laughs> free growing limbs. Uh, like, you've seen energy pills, you've seen this. I think the, I, I don't think cults, so, because I think the way, what it does specifically is there is a um, thing called PD-1 protein. And what the medicine does is it allows that to continue to work, which when you have cancer, um, it just shuts down that cell path specifically. So I think it would only work for boosting your immune system to fight off diseases. But okay. if you have cancer, it's been approved now for more use. So that's really good yeah. news for everyone who has lung cancer. 
So if you're dealing with lung cancer, there's hope on the way. There's always hope. There's always hope. And, and it's now, called something. Blood it's blood called blood blood. Oh, yeah. stevia. Oh, Devo. Sweetie. Not, not stevia. That's <laughs> not sweet. That's sugar, I think. <laughs> okay. They're not related to amoebas, are they? Mm, you know, because both no. of those names sound weird. That'd be amoeba. And no, amoebia. I don't think they're... Amoeba. And it's fake amoebio. sugar amoebos. Um, I think we got a conspiracy. This is going there. nowhere fast. <laughs> All right, so something, slowly. something else interesting that I saw this week that I think you guys might find a little bit more interesting, but not quite as a scientific breakthrough. <laughs> you guys saw Star Wars, right? No, what is what's oh Star my Wars? Gosh. Oh, you saw Star Trek. No, what's Star Trek? I okay, well, it's Trek. a space movie. Space and movie. And there's ships, okay? Mm -hmm. And the ships have a force field that protects them from laser blasts. I would... This would take an hour to explain, James. <laughs> Have you ever had to explain Star Wars? It would take... To someone who's never seen a space it. movie. I think that was a pretty good explanation. No, you go, I love Star Wars. You're missing Wars. so much. Well, I mean, there's the, dark, the light side and the dark side. That doesn't apply you, to this No, story. you forgot so the much whole other right? subplot. Right. We're about the Ewoks. You forgot Jar Jar Binks. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It would take more than an hour. Do the Ewoks drive this car that... No. Shown in this okay. Example. So you guys know who Boeing is, oh, right? Sure. They make airplanes. Yeah, it's the boxer. Yes. This is and they also that. have a whole division that does defense contract stuff with the military. Mm -hmm. what, 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 okay. What? So their newest patent that they just filed is for a shockwave attenuation via electromagnetic arc. Basically, they're using energy to deflect energy. Episode one. Yes. So you remember in episode one, oh the gun guns had the big shields? Yes. And it like blocked the lasers? It's not directing, blocking direct impacts, unfortunately. Okay. But what this can do is if like a missile or a bomb or something hits next to you, and it sends off a shockwave. Yeah. And then you see like in movies, a shockwave comes out and destroys like, uh, does a ton of damage. What this would do is this senses that there's a shockwave and sends out a different signal that basically neutralizes the shockwave in that area, so that whatever's on the other side won't get damaged from the shockwave. Okay. This is Thank this God. is a good breakthrough. This is, a, is. This is like it could be built into something bigger. And better. this is amazing because they're basically you can put this on like your tanks or whatever, and when something goes off, you can all just go on the other side of the tank. This thing will block the shockwave from coming to that side of you, and you guys can all just keep on trucking along. Hey, you can I them? put this on like other things? Like, can I put this? Like, I imagine you could put it on, on a scooter you if you could carry around all the yeah. batteries. Can I, and I can just imagine like all these guys in the tank, and they're going down the road, and they hear this, <laughs> and the guy's like, "My bad, that was so <laughs> I'm so sorry." What, <laughs> the, the what Iranian see, tacos, man. What I see happening is out is in the middle of a desert. You have a, a camel carrying this around on the camel. <laughs> you know? And two pump like or one hump? Well, that makes a lot of difference. Definitely a two, because there's a lot of weight you yeah. have to carry. Okay, yeah. So I mean, you got go. the batteries, yeah, the pack. Concern. But that is good news. Yeah. So when IEDs and stuff go off, you can protect, you know, everything instead of losing everything to damage. Everything. Everything is lost to the shockwaves. You've seen, uh, <laughs> you've seen Pikachu take all those guys. I've, I've never seen, seen Pikachu. Shockwave. You've seen the other you've guys, haven't you? Seen. The other guys. I didn't see yeah, the other guys. Right there. That was a terrible movie. I didn't that see it. That was a great movie. <laughs> that was a great movie. <laughs> well, guy, I actually didn't see it. The it's explosion actually... goes off and they get spoilers. Blasted. Oh, we, wow. don't, we, we don't call spoilers if it's older than three Wait, years. Older than three well, years. I, can't I actually I respect that because I keep telling them that. Older than three really, years. It's like, like, you can be 30 years old. People are like, hey, I'm, Vincent, can you not I'm, spoil this? And you'd be like, you mean the ending? Right well, now, I'll do it. Go ahead. Vincent does Ooh, have a little bit matter. of a reputation of spoiling yeah. new movies Thank also. You. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I've don't never, listen to them. It's I, okay, I keep them in check on the podcast. To be fair, I've never had a movie spoiled by Brenton, but I know someone else who on numerous occasions has. Keeps making stuff up all the time. Yeah. No, actually it was his mom who told me that. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and apparently yeah. for some reason. She tells everyone that. Apparently. Apparently. Well, yeah, my mom just goes around anyways. talking so to people. We all agree. Brenton spoiled this for me. We all agree like, it's three years. I think we agree that after three years, you don't need to call spoilers. I can just start talking about it. As long as I clarify I'm talking about this movie. Particular movie. So you, you know the spoilers. ending to Dark Knight Rises, right? Yes. Where, Wait, uh, we're not to three years yet. <laughs> oh! It's 2012, isn't it? Yeah, but it came out in July. Yeah, July. See, I'm testing. We're not quite to three years yet. Oh, oh, you got me there, right? Oh! <laughs> semantics. <laughs> All right. I said that word, semantics. 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 I think it sounds better than the original. I think that's great. If you ask me. 
I'm so proud of you guys. Samantha Ticks. Well, that's great. I, I forgot to start our top watch, so I have no idea how long we are now. Watch. <laughs> we are as long as we want to be. 30 Fingers. hours. Or 20 you? minutes in? 10. 10 minutes 10 in. 10 minutes in. Okay. <clears throat> We're making good time. 20 minutes in with this many bad. guys. All right, so <laughs> one last thing that um, we want to talk about before we jump into the stuff that you guys brought to the table. Yeah, the X-Files are coming back. Oh! I like the X-Files. Do you like the X-Files? I, I like the X-Files. Right now, I like the but I cannot think of it. It's like, Scully's weird. always like, hey, don't touch me. And then Mulder's like, I'm... Mulder's like... No, this is the plot. If you guys don't have not watched X-Files, this is the plot. This is... This is from the 90s. This is, we spoiled it. This is, okay. No, no, it's... <laughs> Scully, this <laughs> crazy <laughs> thing happened. And she's like, I know, but you can't just run around in the streets and tell everyone that because you sound crazy. No, this, like, is, this is how it goes. Mulder's like, oh my goodness, aliens! And Scully's like, no, 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 there's a logical explanation. No, it's aliens! And then she's like, that's yeah, like right. the plot to half of the episodes, and at the end she's like, I don't know what it was. I wonder why we don't watch it. Donna. And then they go into the next episode, it's like the same thing over again. No, but did you see the movies? Not did you just say explain X-Files to me? Spaceship. Spaceship. Well, the first X-Files movie was not super great, but the second one was did pretty good. So it's kind of like Star Trek. There's a video game too. You got some yes. pretty good ones, pretty bad ones. Pretty good. Yes. The old Star Trek. All two. Oh, I like <laughs> <laughs> The evens are the good ones. That's how Star Trek went, right? I think that's how it the was. The old one. Con, number four, number six. I think those were the good oh, ones, right? Wrath of Con. Oh, speaking of Star Trek, uh, side note. Did you see that William Shiner said he's not going to be in the new Star Trek movie? I heard in he's still anyone, old. In case anyone thought he was, yeah. he confirmed not in it. Could have, like, so, still be in the price line negotiator. Well, he's back. You know, they killed him and then brought that girl that was supposed to be his daughter in. Right. And now they're both in it. Because I, 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 I can't decide, it. did nobody like her? Or did they just miss William Shatner? I wish. I just. I don't know what It's English something about is, him but... acting so serious that made it so funny. Because you're just like, he's like, I'm so cool. And you're like, no, no you're not. <laughs> you're silly. You're not. <laughs> you're just, I'm silly. watching you. <laughs> But anyways, anyway, back on topic. Can I talk? Yes, talk. No. This is a conversational Continue. podcast. What? Yeah. I stole that from a good you friend tell of mine. Tell me that now. I don't think I've conversed <laughs> at all. This I podcast. wonder who that would have been. I know. Why haven't okay. you conversed, Chris? So Someone who, worked a lot. Who in there? Week. Show show hands. If you're listening to this, we're all going to raise our hands at the same time. Who watched the Pixels, Pixels trailer? <laughs> I watched the Pixels trailer. I just did. All right, now. If you guys and, watch it, and your dog did, and the dog did watch Pixels. Yeah, gotta remember that. Princeton, what's yes. Pixels? She was drooling Pixels the whole time. Pixels is about aliens with a sense of humor that decide to attack the alien race with actual video game characters. I don't think so that was the exact plot. That wasn't the exact plot. That's what I got from it. Well, apparently, I'm sorry. It might be different. Apparently, like, like <laughs> it just, just turns out to be a different movie. Like there's no video game characters. In apparently, what it is a bunch of bad comedians. Okay. No. So <laughs> that was the actual apparently, plot. Apparently, uh, aliens get like a hold of video games and instead of them thinking it was like a a peace message like hey this is our yeah, civilization they're like it oh, out. uh you well we hate video games so we're gonna make you hate video games <laughs> so they send all the video games down like pac how was my thing a lie i just said they have a sense of humor that's a sense of humor uh, no so Where is it? <laughs> let me finish <laughs> uh, what's up everybody welcome to the weekly argument <laughs> now it's good that's gonna be so now loud. that we're here so that we're and isaac out. tapping on the table just gonna like <laughs> make everyone deaf we're gonna put this mic so much you're gonna love it <laughs> okay no so this was the actual plot yeah yeah apparently yeah, yeah, yeah. civilization decided in 1982 <laughs> to send up a time capsule into space to be like, hey, this is a snapshot of who we are, and inside of that, they included video games that were popular at the time, which was Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Donkey Kong Arcade, which I want to talk specifically about Donkey Kong in a minute. And Cubert. Oh, and Cubert was in there as well. Cubert was so in there. He was in the. He wasn't in the screenshots, but he was actually attacking them later on. I was. And they send it up, and the aliens get it, and apparently think that we're declaring a war on them. <laughs> and not only that we're declaring war, war, but that we fight in the form of space invaders, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, and Cubert. So and so a big ship comes down and just space invaders come pouring out of it. Pac-Man's <laughs> roaming the streets eating stuff. Donkey Kong's on top of a like platform throwing barrels. It sounds like a Disney movie. Now, this movie doesn't this sound... like a Disney movie, is it? No, no, no it is not. It doesn't sound it. that bad. How bad does this movie sound so far? <laughs> not bad. Until you add. Now, who's in this movie? Not bad until you add. Adam Sandler. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. No, but you said the who word. Who else is in this movie? Kevin James. Exactly. 
And, and we all love that. We'll level it out. And we we, level we it all out. saw Paul Boy. I stopped touching Sue. I'll give you that. And that was good. I liked it. I, was, was, I mean, I'd rather have like you. I feel like the second one's just a cash grab, but I still will see it. Oh, yeah. Because it's, just to see his funny face. I miss Kevin James. Now. I, he never returns my We watched face. the trailer for this movie. Yes. Not impressed. No. Not impressed. No. I, I didn't think it was horrible. I thought it was cute. I when I see a movie like this, I don't think, like I don't give it the standard I do normal movies. It's where you got to turn off your brain. Yeah, I, I lower my. Hey, expectations. You got to turn off your brain for something. I think we're all just ready for Mall Cop too. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I like when you speak for all of us. Good. I don't you don't know that. that. It, this is one of those where years. it's going to be a 50 50 for me where it's you either just saw all the good stuff in the trailer and it, it's going to be Here's, one of those things. Yeah. Or, but I like our three different versions we had of the, the trailer. Actually. Here's here's my biggest complaint with this <laughs> Pixels movie. I don't care that Adam Sandler's in it. No. He's hit or miss. Kevin James is more hit than miss, but he's also hit or miss. My thing is, why does Donkey Kong and Pac-Man look so pixely? Because they got the 1982 But version. they're aliens. They're supposed to be like super James. advanced. Why would they yeah, be like, the point character why would they be like, you zoom we can't attack look your planet, but we're going to make everything look they like... Know I don't they like the pixels. Nothing. But here's the thing. It's James. They what, if they have, what if they have like this hologram it was, weapon? But it or was they had pixels, a 3D rhythm. But they were 3D. <laughs> yeah, 3D pixel, yeah. Maybe. Cubert. Why were the they alien. all flat then? Because that's all we that, gave them. Because yeah. we wouldn't, I wouldn't look at that and be like, okay, well, I'm going to send this piece Maybe of paper to all, attack everyone. I, mean, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just, just, I don't they know. could just see that as I, an example of like a drawing for a 3D yeah, it's image. A drawing. I will just, see this movie for no other reason than Nintendo actually let them use Donkey Kong. I mean, there's going to be plot holes. Which, if that's a thing, it's got to at least be okay. Because Nintendo's pretty like picky about what they'll let you use yeah. their properties for. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I don't remember, we but Donkey Kong's kind of up in the air because... Yeah, there is well, the whole, the whole debate of... Yeah. There's that whole Donkey Kong mm -hmm. thing up in the air. And then there was the whole suing with uh, when the Universal... It could have been Nintendo. worse. It could have been right, banging right. on bongo drums. Let's so. just say, for all intents and purposes, though, Nintendo pretty much at this point still owns Donkey Kong. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of debate about but. Right now, if you were to use Donkey Kong, Nintendo would be who would come after you for it, not Rare or anyone else. Did you imagine that? Like, Nintendo shows up at your door and they just arrest you? They put you in this, like, white car? That's why... Like, blue... That's why on this show, we can't say... <laughs> no, no, they come in and just take all your Amiibos. <laughs> no! <laughs> they dress you up like Princess Peach and spin you no, around through Speaking time. of the Amiibos... <laughs> Uh, did you guys see my Sweet Amiibo collection? Yeah. Yeah, I added a couple of them. I yeah, felt like I got some back new here. ones. I can... We got a gold Mario. Which one? You got a gold Mario. What yeah. else did you get here? And Sold all separately. Guys over there, Mario, Peach, Luigi, Bowser, Yoshi on the. If Luigi. you guys can't see this, there's Mario, Peach, Luigi, and Luigi. Why do you say Luigi? Because that's, 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 that's how you pronounce Luigi. it. Man, Luigi. Isaac, you're making Luigi. me want Parmesan now. <laughs> guys are terrible. Mario okay. Luigi. Parmesan. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break, and then we're gonna come back. And Isaac and Brinson are going to take over the second half of the show and give you a taste of how their podcast goes. Si, sí, senor. So don't go away, because we'll be right back. Right back. Welcome back, everybody, <laughs> to the second half of the show. So here we're going to let Brinson and Chris kind of take over and give a sample yeah, of... Brinson All right, and yeah, Isaac. go ahead. Brinson and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean Brinson and I. So, we've been Brinson. under this light too long. What you didn't know is Chris has actually been recording with you the whole time, and you just thought it was Isaac. Uh, Jokes on you! Those barriers, those barriers okay, have been messing so with what you. I meant to say was we're going to let Brinson and Isaac take over now and give you a sample of kind of how they do their podcast. Now, their podcast is not on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, you have to go look for the podcast. You're gonna have to go run. But all right, I'm gonna first street. demonstrate. It's easy to find, so here we go. I'm gonna first demonstrate by cutting Chris in half. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna lay. Okay, on the this table. is not the magic combo. <laughs> okay, I'm you, like, said you said <laughs> demonstrate. I like you how he stands up to actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's pretty believable act, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna sit back. I'm and sorry, I can. What's help. our podcast about, Vincent? Uh, I think it's about video games mainly, but with a sprinkle of some other stuff. Why? Like ice cream? Why I, yeah. I, don't, I didn't know. I was asking him. Well, I mean, we mainly talk about video games. Are they rainbow or, or a conversational podcast? A conversational. We don't deal in sweets, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Give you the hard facts. Cold hard facts. 
But pretty much, the reason why Bye -bye. we want to do this is because, I one, I just gotta, I gotta get this out of my Go system. Go for it. Guys. Tell them how it is. We are very passionate about this because there are a lot of people out there that have big hobbies like this, and they don't really have anybody to talk to. I mean, they're probably downstairs in the basement, have this, like, person taking care of them. A yeah, mannequin. And, and, they're they're and they don't have terrible? anybody else to talk to them, and they're living in Sweden. I don't know. Germany? Something like that. Anyways, <laughs> we talk to you. We, you know, we, we talk both. to you. At the same time, and sometimes. I ignore him completely. Yeah. That is actually That's true. why we talk <laughs> That is true. No, I'm no I, kidding. Yeah, I... Wow, we're narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, you come to us, you don't got anybody else to talk to, we'll, we'll show it to you. We'll we're take gonna you under our wing. We like we'll to talk We'll fly and, uh, together. They'll tell you all sorts of video game news that happen yeah. on Monday. Because they record on Monday when most of the video game news happens. Actually. The video we'll put it out on Tuesdays. Tuesday. Tuesday. Because oh, I said you record on Monday. Shop, shop. Weren't you listening? <laughs> I may have got your name wrong, but I know how to talk. <laughs> I may have got your name wrong, but I know who you are. But I know stuff. <laughs> right, Jeff? Anyways, <laughs> enough of the behind the scenes. Okay, so right. what we pretty much do is we have a, a lot of topics we go through. <laughs> really fast. A lot of news related stuff, and we just talk about it. Like quick checks. Now, it's and not like usually we start we by don't saying... speed run it, obviously. No, because that'd be. You'd have to have warp whistles and. Okay. Warp whistles. <laughs> and uh, you know, down Mario Brothers? Pipes. I skipped that one. So anyway, anyways, okay, you play Mario Brothers three or something. Welcome to Combo Starters. I like Mario Brothers three. Um, what game have you been playing? I've been playing Bloodborne. I played a little bit of Bloodborne. I've been playing Battlefield Hardline. You've been playing. Uh, I'm too I played busy, like I stated. <laughs> He's I played playing like Angry Birds though. still. Two thousand eight. Have it. Two thousand eight. You never updated your game. <laughs> You're still like I don't have any birds. games. There's, there's, yeah, there's like that what? Pig. What? You can't get past the first stage, guys. It's really hard. But no, Bloodborne. It's fun. Yes. Is it as hard? It's got as some dark, spunk to it. As Dark Souls. Strangely enough, it's like it's harder. To really? Me. Okay, so Bloodborne yeah. new game came out pretty popular. <laughs> I like Very that. hard. <laughs> you surprised me. Dark Souls is hard. Can I talk? Yeah. Can I talk? Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey, right. there's four of us now. Sorry. Take it away. Okay. I'm just gonna three of me now. Don't literally you see that. Right? You're surrounded. I am surrounded. <laughs> oh, Bloodborne is fun. It's really hard. It's a game where you're like this weird old. I don't even know how to explain it now. The other ones were like you're a weird old soldier man. stuff. You're just a dude, right? Kind of like who a dude. You want. It's, it's well, very it's like 17th or 18th are, you, are you like a dude yeah. or you're a dudette? I'm a dude. Okay. Like Wolverines, vampires, dudette. Type. Yeah. Sure. Sent, yeah. It's personal. So it's, um, so it's a hard game. <laughs> it's a very hard game. So what happens is. You accumulate these points, uh, like let's say you need a thousand points to level up, so yeah. you go earn a thousand. And while you're trying to get home, if you die, you have to go and get these you points lose all killing. those points. Okay. And then that guy has your points. You have to take them, to, guy has you have to, take them to a creepy he doll. Has your points now. So they don't just like drop onto the land, you gotta actually go pick your points back up from a dude. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you have to kill that it's dude. It's the guy who killed you, you so need to go back and get what yourself from. What if you had leveled up something? Like, say you leveled up, I don't know how the game works, so let's just say, for instance, like, you leveled up your attack or something. Uh -huh. And then the guy kills you, uh -huh. and you die, and he takes your points. Yeah. So do you lose your level no, 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 up? No, no, Don't worry, if he won't take up, your points, he because he's okay, once, you level once you level up, it's there. It's They're killers, in. not muggers. Yeah. But, um, it's a fun game, that's what I've been So playing. why would you not just level up right away? Yeah. Because you have to run home. Oh, you have to go home. You okay. have to make it to this land. So it's like Dark Souls, you have to get to the bottom. It's like getting grounded. If you're not home in time, you're in trouble. It's mainly about trial and error. And it makes you value death more than like some other games where oh, you I just die death. and die and you just don't count. That was well, in our line you do. <laughs> oh my goodness, Chris, we just talked about cancer not too long ago. We <laughs> so insensitive. So I'm anyway, going to shockwave for a deadly emo. <laughs> That's your alternate podcast. For yeah. all you listeners out there, Chris is having a beard moment. <laughs> His, His beard is reaching. His beard is, beard is awesome. Not beard. Okay. Beard. So Hajime oh. Tabata. All right, so Bloodborne, hard game. Sounds yes, awesome. it's food. Sounds it's hard. very fun, and I recommend it. Sounds like it. I'm gonna pass because the Dark Souls two made yeah. me like very frustrated. Right. That's funny. That's the easiest. <laughs> I think one. you just yes, gave up too soon. That's why I passed. Well, no, was, I think two is. I'll actually. Easiest. Yeah, Dark Souls two. He said this two. was why He's I didn't. You only played one. No, I thought it was two that we. No, it wasn't. Like, one. Right, one. It wasn't. One. Okay, yeah. This is why it bothered me. Yeah. I just wanted to play co-op. And to get to co-op, you, you have, have to like, level yeah, up all the way. Super far. But well, you gotta beat the first boss. Well, you, have, you, can't, you yeah. can't think of it as a. But I like that in a way because it's different. It's no, like, no, no. Wow, well, I gotta achieve I'm something not, like here's this. Here's the here's the way it is. Really, like it's. I'm not calling a, you out. I'm just. Think saying. of it as a single player game. Yeah. 
that you can play with your friend. No, and that's times. fine. I'm not. I'm not dissing. I'm just saying it's not for me because I yeah. that kind of game I wanted to play yeah. co-op, and um, so like it's just not for me. I'm sorry, Alex. It doesn't have an M16 in it. Got blunderbusses. There's though. there's no calling. Blunder blunder there's no duty. And of course, you've been. Yeah, you life. said duty. Ha ha ha. We're mature. All right, and wait. <laughs> no, we're not. That's a lie. <laughs> oh my god. Just made jokes about that with barriers. That's a duty. What's nice. next? <laughs> anyway, so. okay. What have you been playing? Bloodborne. What? We just talked about We can't exactly. exactly! I thought you were playing something else. We can't play together. Played Hardline, Helldivers. Oh, Helldivers. Finished has been Hollow Knight well, 2. Just, well, yeah, yeah, he said he played Helldivers. He held that do, you like, do you like uh, Hardline? I, I, I saw the previews and the, you know, on the commercial. It didn't look like it was very good quality. There's a lot of cars, there's a lot of guns, there's a lot of people shooting There's a lot of cops. There's a lot, a lot of big criminals. Good quality. Yeah, doesn't matter actually, what your game's about as long as it has good quality, guys. That's right. Just skip back to doesn't matter the game. graphics. It doesn't matter if the game's right. good. This, is, all what about I, the this is what I said about this. Four was a tragedy. Four was Me terrible. Me and James <laughs> got this game. That was four. PS4 launch. I expected the PS4 to have issues at launch. It's just It always happens with consoles like this, with online. It's just expected. Yes. Now, the game, that, there was no excuse for that. It was no. just sad. It was just really, really sad. It was so sad. I think it was like literally a year later it, before we I, I remember with a slight little bit of rubber. Sometimes they'll call me at like 3 in the morning and start crying about like how that happened to you. I know. My dog just like. And then after the just, like, Master Chief collection back. came out, you would call me the worst. all the time. And it's like a That was like worse than Battlefield, but they fixed it fast, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it was worse when I watched Now, the thing I like about this is they had like, what, 3,000 betas before they had this game? There was 3 betas. Yeah, three betas. <laughs> I know how many are. Three thousand. It doesn't matter. And Battlefield so Hardline. Play, this right? is why betas are a good thing. Yes. Because you stress the crap out of your That first beta server. was rough. But I was going to say, Battlefield Hardline was very, uh, it's it's got a, what, a cops and robbers show? Cops and TV robbers. show mm -hmm. thing. It has on. a very TV show. Yes, for the and I find it funny how games can tend to do TV shows and movies, but movies and TV shows cannot do games. They have a very hard time doing games. They have a very As we just saw with Pixels. Mm. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, they did wreck it Ralph pretty well. Very well. Uh, yes. I mean, I was really disappointed because when I watched it, I was waiting for a movie with Sonic and Mario and yes, just those things. Yes. And instead, it was a movie that had Sonic. Well, that's the thing. As you walked by. Right. I expected that. They were going to have tons of cameos. There characters. was way too much like disappointment. And then I was like, like tons of cameos. Was, yeah. Bowser had a bigger part than Mario or Sonic did in that movie. Yeah, he sat down in a chair, right? He was like, I'm in the AA meeting. Well, it wasn't AA because they weren't <laughs> alcoholics, but. How do you know that? Well, I mean, they, I guess they could mean they, they are bad been guys. guys. And yeah, bad guys. It's not so bad to be bad. Just because you're a bad guy, <laughs> you're not a bad doesn't guy. make you a so, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that brings me so like besides Wreck It Ralph, if we were gonna take one game and make it a movie, would like what do you think would actually succeed? Game? Punch Out, Little Man rises to the top. We have Wait, a show Rocky. called Hajime Ipo. We have I a movie. Hate you. We have a movie that's called Rocky. <laughs> Rocky 2? Yeah, and Little Mac's like... Rocky 4? <laughs> but, but Sylvester Stallone's like this tall, yeah. and the Little Mac's like down here. I know they have TV <laughs> and he's series. Short. They That's have fair. TV series of Halo, Yeah, I'd like to see an actual Halo movie come out, even though I'm not a Halo fan. Uh, what's that movie called? District 9? District 9. The that guy was supposedly supposed to be a Halo movie. That's no, why I lied. I think you were thinking I'm of... I'm not, not, I'm not no, asking you, you, I'm telling you. I did see District 9. You didn't see it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I did. It was thinking of Elysium. I think you're thinking of Elysium. You said that for I said District 9. No. Elysium's got some of the ring thing going on. No, that's why the guns look like they're from Halo. He wanted to make it a Halo movie, and when he wrote the original plot... That was his objective, and then they, I had didn't to, hear they ended that. up being like, no. No, that this. is true though. He was supposed to be on board with that project, and then they exactly, and that's why the guns. I don't know. He already like he like already had the guns made. He's like, well, guess I'll do a different alien movie. Because <laughs> they were, they were. It kept going back to you know the bad place where all scripts go. Like Ghostbusters keeps going back and forth. Wait, but I thought they were doing another thing. I thought they were doing two Ghostbusters movies now. Oh yeah, supposedly now. We'll see how. I have a female right cast now. one and a male cast one. I don't mind women being in it. It's just Melissa McCarthy. Have, I'm just like, yes, no, please, exactly. No. I, don't I don't mind that it's an old cast. I just don't think she's a good actor. She drives me crazy. I just think they're just like, it's not because she can do crazy. a bunch of stupid it's stuff. It's not because she's a female, and it's not because she's large. I just don't think she's a good she's actor. She's just gonna talk about how everybody's faster than her. No, because I heard, I heard, I heard. This laugh. specifically is what I heard was people were like upset about it because she's a female, 
and she's large. I keep going like that. I don't care about either of those things. It's I just not, don't those like Those are unreliable arguments. No, it's, I just don't like her. She cannot wear the proton pack expecting the respect. <laughs> just she wants. Anyways, they're making two of them, and now I think neither of them is going to be great. Yeah. I'm glad that answered our question of what video game would you turn into a movie? Okay, that was your question. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> They, well, they Mario did surely didn't show it. I feel but like Assassin's way. Creed honestly has a chance. Well, that'd be a good idea, actually. But which one? Black went off Black the Flag. Flag. Black Flag? Mm, the, uh, they're gonna, the they're gonna go safe for the most popular See, one, and it probably will be the Renaissance. Out of good... That's, that's what I'm thinking they're gonna go Out with. of good video game was, movies, yeah. like video games that were turned into movies, not that Mortal Kombat, even though it's not a good movie, it's a fun movie. That's the closest thing. I don't know. One of the if, we're saying, yeah. if we're saying fun but not good, I think the Mario Brothers movie falls into that category. That was boring. There's a big you gotta trust, boring and fun. You guys. gotta trust the fungus. <laughs> Bomb Street Fighter. Trust the fun. That movie. Trust the fungus. There was a movie and it was terrible. That movie Tekken. made so many references to other movies. <laughs> <laughs> it what is about not the funny. Final Fantasy movie? <laughs> that was actually a good movie. That was CG. I'm thinking more. It was all action. CG though. That's fair. The Final Fantasy movie. movie. Which one? Advent Children or the bad one? Advent no, Children. Advent Children. Okay, good. We gotta get that straight. Final Fantasy spirits within the best movie People, ever. People, if you are listening to this. Wait, there is a difference. I know which one would make a good movie, but they would not do a good job with it. Pokemon. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But you have the eight gems. You have a kid rising to I, the top. I don't know. I might as well just rewatch Ender's Game. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's plot to nothing. I don't know why, but I feel like I agree with you. I ain't in a way. See what I mean? I don't know why. Just you know, kid rising to the top. That's all. Same plot almost. They're nothing no alike. Actors, just They're nothing, They're nothing alike. Just like ten the little ships. Okay, I see where you're going. I feel like you can name him Ash. Yeah, and see, be like, that's the closest thing you can get. And you can it. name his ship Pikachu and the the yeah. other things he's attacking. And it turns out there's just five new people in that Pikachu and Star Fox. Anyways, for. Let's make a Star Fox movie. I'm, yes, it's CG. I, I would I mentioned that on our show. It would have to be CG. It would have. That's the only way. I feel like a Star Fox movie. fans will like you know explode. Because otherwise, like. Fox is a live action. I mean, they can do Guardians of the Galaxy. They can definitely do Star Fox. You know, everybody's going to be yelling dual barrel roll in that theater. I the theater is going to dual barrel roll. Double tap box. Press box will do a barrel roll. <laughs> good ones would actually be like Half Life would be interesting. Okay, so you mean actual good ones, not like funny good ones. Right, they can be whatever you want, man. I think it's Star Fox. I think Star Fox want. would be good if it was CG, but you want live action, so let's see here. Red Dead Redemption. I think F Zero would be. Like so many uh, I can see that. But to me, I think doing to me that's easy. It is easy. I do like John Marston, John Marston's character. That is a good oh, story. Exactly. I would rather just have you, Red Dead Redemption. I'd compare him to like a Clint Eastwood. With like floppy controls. Yes. <laughs> like the guy who walks in in the scene. Like, We're never like, going to answer your question. No, no. no. I mean, Sorry. Yeah, I, would I would actually really enjoy like the Speed Racer movie. I'd like an F Zero movie like that. Okay, but like the Speed Racer movie? Because now. Like in that sense thing, of. That I like the Speed Racer movie. You know what? Movie. I did too. It's not good, but it's not I, good, I really enjoyed it. But I really enjoyed it. it. I think it was okay. a nostalgic I'm glad, kind of I'm glad I'm not the only one who felt that way about it. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't a good movie, but I really enjoyed I it. I did right. enjoy it. Okay. Now that we're all in agreement on that. F Zero would be good. Boat. F Zero would be good. I agree with that as well. Also, because I would just like to see F Zero. Okay, F Zero. Yours was. Uh, a lot of CG and F Zero. Uh, just... I'm with the Star Fox thing. Okay, I like and. That. Man, I don't know. But if we're going live action, I would say. Assassin's Creed has got a really good Definitely. chance in Here's... terms of movies. It's just like a Renaissance era. And they are doing it. Renaissance good. era. Well, Not the future era, because we all played that in future Assassin's All of my Creed. favorite video games either wouldn't make sense in a movie, or there's a ton of movies about them. Donkey Kong wouldn't make a good movie. No. And Battlefield, okay. like, there's so many war movies anyways. You don't need any yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Call of Duty. So here's what I'm going to have to go with. Legend of Donkey Zelda. Kong show. That Donkey Kong show would be Zelda would be a good one. I think you could do Zelda only because Lord of the Rings has done so well. I think you could mm -hmm. set it something in that universe with the right director and the right writer. <laughs> And it do well. What if they made you have to read like the text bubbles? And and like Link doesn't talk the whole movie. <laughs> that'd be, yes, that'd be awful. You, well, they're like Link, come over here. And he goes, Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Link, I got weeds. You need to cut my yard. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. I, that's that's all I can think of because like I said all of my favorite games like you know what? didn't work. I actually would like to replace mine, and we could do an Expandables movie. No, Spandles. I take it back. I know what I know. Alan Wake. 
That's okay. my favorite right. game. There's I'll a anyway. show called Twin Peaks. I know, it's Twin Peaks. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all right, hold up, guys. <laughs> With the That's what I'm are... saying, though. No, all but... of the stuff I like okay. already has an now, equivalent in movies. Okay, now, imagine The Expandables. Now, the Expandables do... or The Expendables? Whatever, however you say it. Expandables, <laughs> like, you know... Like... <laughs> <laughs> Those are different things. The Incredibles <laughs> come out again. <laughs> okay, anyway, the Expendables. Yes. So Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Norris. And instead, and... if you had to make a movie like that, okay, but you use video game characters, okay. who would we have? Master Chief. That's a given. A one dimensional. Well, you man. didn't say the he's givens so, or not. He's so like Master Chief. We don't know who he's he is. Sylvester Stallone's pretty one dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good point. I never said I like. I like Slaw. I'm just saying he's pretty one dimensional. <laughs> I do like him. I do like him. He works he really hard in movies. I, I feel like he works so hard. His scripts are huge, and you're does. thinking, how many booms do you need? At least one more. Like, oh my gosh. Boom, boom, like, boom. Right no, he ever. literally just tons of drafts. But anyways, lots of booms. Documentaries. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Master Chief. Watch it. Give, given. You have to have Master Chief. Okay. I think at Brinson. this point, like you have to have him, whether it's stupid or not. Okay, Brinson, if you had to, if you had to, if we were making like a team that worked together and they fought something, mm -hmm. who's gonna work with Master Chief? Well, anyone could work with Master Chief. Anyone. Like, he works alone. I kind of like the Super Smash Brothers approach where they all came together. So if I had That's to fine. It's just all come together. I mean, those uh, Mega guys Man, can... I've just got to go with Mega Man X. That would be pretty cool. Okay. No, be... zero, zero. Change that. Oh my change gosh. Zero. Zero. Well, that was zero. close. For, zero. For, that all, was... for all two you people can't... in the world that know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> One is like red. <laughs> Thank you. You're all yeah. awesome, so I'm going to let it go. <laughs> All right, so All right. Master Chief and Mega Man Zero. Now that you guys choose that, now I feel like I'm kind of no. Nope, there's that. a difference with that now. I know there's a difference. His name's Zero, not there's, Mega there's Man like Zero. There's like five different uh, characters. Uh, anyway, I don't care what uh, his uh, name uh, is. I would is. go for Samus. Okay. Because Samus is cool. Another she's, loner. She's she's with or without. This armor. team is gonna with be like. Without. It doesn't matter because she's gonna kick. They're all gonna be fighting each other next. Yeah, no. This is gonna be like the Avengers. Well, no. Now we need a leader. We need a leader. Snake. Who? Captain Falcon. He Captain is Falcon. a... He's a race car driver. Oh, no, but he is a bounty race hunter. Car driver. <laughs> they, it is set up as the bounty hunters in F-Zero though, aren't they? You know what though? He has I a could, gun. I could, I could see that. You though. know, for leader though, I could see Snake as being a leader. That's he's too old and he like, also works Well, he's wise. He could be like, he's the go leader. over there. Well, are, the, uh, are you gonna go tell Hannibal that? Yes. Mr. 18 guy, you're old, you cannot be leader. You can't do this. Mr. Baracus, please step yeah. forward. <laughs> oh, that would go over well. <laughs> no, but do you think Snake's really a good leader? Um, is he a leader? He's just he another loner when it comes he to does, He does, he does lead an army. You well, you know, you know, in one of them he does. Yeah, yes. no, he, he does lead an army. army. He trains them in CQC and all that stuff. Three. That's awesome. In th three or also a lot. No, I meant in one game. He does it in three games. You'd like him, Yeah, Ground Zeroes, he has an army. Mm -hmm. And then he raises a whole this, troop. And then in Peace Walker, he makes no. He has a whole. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then yeah, in this yeah, new yeah. one, I'm not going to spoil I'm not counting that. And Kiefer Sutherland voices him now, so yes, now you know he's more than enough leader. Okay, so we can just a basically pick Kiefer Sutherland. This isn't. We need a team of four. Is not. Can Kiefer. we just can we just make Kiefer Sutherland okay. leader? Four. He's not a video game character, is he? Now he is. They made that awesome 24. They made that 24 game, so I guess technically. Oh yes, he did. Well, Chris didn't get to pick anyone. He was just ignored. He said Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Oh, it's Captain. I think our team would blow. He can Captain Falcon. Falcon. Look, they need a Captain getaway Falcon. driver. <laughs> they need a driver. Oh my gosh, you're so smart, James. I applaud him. Everybody clap. Go I mean, back. they had Wake BA. He was, he drove, right? And they had the guy that drove the helicopter in the A-team. Oh, Captain Falcon has to really right. do to get a Okay, we need a leader, guys. Okay, we'll all come together. The ground, and he'll go we need someone to unite this team, though, because let's... Who's going to unite this team? We're at 20 minutes? Okay. You guys aren't gonna do nothing. You're what not about Link? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's Link ours. doesn't talk. How's he gonna lead the team? He'll go. Yeah. Um, oh, guys. I what about the guy? Yeah. What about um? Shepherd? Yeah, yeah. What about Shepard would be. Mass Effect. Shepard would be. Cool. Mass Effect. No, I've no, never no, been a huge fan of Shepard. Well, me neither. I like, think he'd be really confused. I've never been a fan. He gets very confused. Okay. You know what? what no. About you know Big how Daddy? many people I have failed. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. I'm just trying to think. Oh my god. Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's be jolly and silly. No, that'd be ridiculous. No, I say Big B Wolf. No. Yes. No. He's a he's a werewolf. Yes, no, I know. No, he's not. He's just a wolf, actually. He's okay. A he's a wolf man. He wants to be. He's a big. Wait, I think we're making this too hard. Does it have to be someone yeah. who's like a big war hero? What about someone who just? I mean, you already like, have a master chief. He's right. somewhat of a leader, but he well, he does a lot of stuff by himself. So never mind. Right. You need someone who can. Okay. Okay. okay guys. In Sergeant 10 Johnson. We're gonna choose. Okay. Sergeant <laughs> he's Johnson. He's dead though. He can't lead a team. Okay. We have ten seconds to decide. We have to choose now. This is the most important moment of our lives. 
Wreck-It Ralph. Okay. So you heard it here. He's the Master leader of the century. Chief, <laughs> Solid Snake. There was a game of him. The Mega Man Zero. Captain Falcon. And Wreck-It Ralph. Yep. There's. There now, you go. now, who are they gonna fight? Easy. You're, no, no, no. Okay, no, no. You no. are going into another. You know who they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> okay. fight Skeletor. How about, they're fighting Skeletor. Okay. How about this? You guys can discuss who they fight on your podcast, so that would have a reason to come yeah. check it out. It might blow up our podcast. All right. I don't know if we can handle it. So there you go. That's there, a pretty good taste of how your podcast goes. It's delicious, wasn't it? It was very delicious. By the way, which had a breach? Change your passwords. Yeah, <laughs> but you got an email about that, right? Yeah. I mean, I got an email about it. I don't ever use hey, my. I'm Twitch. just trying to act concerned. Okay, we say your Twitch password. Work. Should, should, should we let them know where to find and us? And don't regret it. Yes, we're gonna we should, do. We should we're gonna do that. Chris, do you have a quick question? Yeah, or not? No, no? no? Good. Okay, you good? All right. <laughs> so if say we wanted to follow you guys now because we think you're pretty interesting, or we like to laugh at you. Either way, where can we find you on the internet? Where can they find us? At combostarters.com. At combostarters.com? What about our Gmail? Is it combostarters.gmail.com? Combostarters at gmail.com. <laughs> what if I don't do With the email thing? thing? Well, How else can I get a hold of you? I mean, there's, wanna... there's Twitter. Twitter. Do we have Twitter? Twitter. Is it called? Twitter. What's our Twitter address? Follow us at combostarters. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if Look I go... Up combo We're stars. really good with our IPs. If I Google <laughs> combostarters, do you guys come up? I don't know. You should, hopefully. I don't hopefully. know. Do you guys have an RSS feed? Maybe if you use it. RSS feed. Okay, yeah. so combo starters all over. Seriously, go yes. check them out. But Their podcast. <laughs> Their podcast is pretty good for five episodes in. They talk about all the video game stuff that came out. They talk about PlayStation, Xbox. They would talk about the Wii U, something interesting happened. <laughs> we talk about everything. They talk about everything. Even it's great. phone games if they were crazy enough. Sometimes shows. They have, some, cool, they have some good discussions. Yeah, we talk about shows and games. They talk about, games and they talk about the entertainments of the digital format. The final arts. Okay. And whatever you guys want us to talk about. All the stuff you love. And it's all there. So go check them out. They're great. Do it. Alright, Chris. If we want to find you on the internet, Mr. Silent over there today. Mr. Silent. Uh, you know me, I'm at... Uh, Our resident non-video gamer. Where can we find you at on the internet? You can find me at Vine. That's uh, Fight With Heart. You can find me on Instagram at fight underscore with underscore heart. Uh, Twitter is actually Never Lose Heart. Actually, the one I wanted was taken. He fights with... <gasps> you wanted to be the one I wanted? Yes. Interesting. I just never heard someone fight with organs before. Yeah, yeah. You just throw what? parts of people fight with organs. We do a video just... game podcast. You've heard tons of people fight with organs. Keep going. Not like this. He <laughs> specifically uses hearts. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't fight with them. He doesn't just... throw them at people. Do you with... have heart? They're like his life. It's... Have you played Smash I got a Brothers? Chip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> you can find me online, Twitter, at James Walter, and pretty much anything you want to know about me is there. And my Facebook is linked to that as well. So you can find all that. If you want to find our wonderful podcast, you can find us at theweeklyflare.com. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at The Weekly Flare. You can also find us on YouTube now, The Weekly Flare Podcast, because they won't let you be The Weekly Flare for some reason, because it's too similar to yeah. other names on YouTube. That don't exist. Oh, these are all ran by James, <laughs> so if anything comes through, it's all from James. I manage that Instagram and Twitter so well. It's all his fault. It's so managed. Also, we have the blog that Chris... Said he was going to post to, but never did. So send lots of emails <laughs> to podcast at theweeklyflare.com and say you want Chris to blog. I'll blog about my trips. And Do it. Music. Call them out, Weekly Flare style. That's right. Call them out. Also send us your questions, comments, feedback, all that good stuff. Let us know if you enjoyed having these guys on. If you like the guests, don't like the guests. We've had two guests now. Well, three technically. It's okay. Math's hard. I meant two episodes. Of <laughs> I do hey, math all day. I welcome think I to the Weekly right Flare, right where we cannot pronounce anything and we cannot add anything. Clearly, we can Clearly. only take away from your intelligence. We're professionals, <laughs> so you know. And if you want even more, math is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is a wonderful <laughs> thing. All right. So, anything else you guys want to plug before we get out of here? Not that I know of. I think I've plugged all I can. I've plugged so much stuff. I'm so full. Okay. Chris, anything else you'd like I'm, to plug? I'm good. I want to plug the Star Wars drone of the Star Destroyer. Go <laughs> check it out. And we'll see you again in seven days. Seven days. We won't. We'll see you guys way faster than that. And six nights.
Peace.